Kimberly, Miss MTV, that NFL player baby mama doing more than living off child support. My baby daddy was a first round draft pick in the NFL. He won two Super Bowls, was a Wheaties champion, earning millions. I met many famous and exciting people and earned over a half million dollars as his baby mama. I also began working at MTV as a journalist and lived an exciting life, meeting lots of famous people. And then I learned the life expectancy of people who use drugs is 50 years old. On November 16, 2000, DJ Screw's heart stopped. He was 29 years old. October 14, 2007, rapper Big Mo suffered a heart attack. He was only 33. December 4, 2007, Pimp C died after his heart stopped. He was also 33. I also had an opportunity to meet the King of Pop, Michael Jackson, and on June 25, 2009, he died. He was only 50. July 23rd, 2011, the beautiful and talented singer Amy Winehouse died from alcohol poisoning. She was only 27 years old. We will always love the queen of pop, Whitney Houston. She died February 11th, 2012 at 48 years old. Her daughter, Bobby Christina, died July 26, 2015. She was only 22. Recovery equals life. It is a hard journey that many people worldwide travel, including former Mayor of Toronto Rob Forb, English comedian Russell Brand, rock star Ozzy Osbourne and his son Jack Osbourne. The celebrity world led me to interview many, many celebrities. But unfortunately, sometimes they were in prison, or at their own funerals. I now have a master's in professional counseling and earn twenty-seven to $40,000 per year, helping to save lives by encouraging people to live drug-free. Without recovery, death is certain.